guys, we need to talk. This is an issue that nobody's bringing up and I have a lot of problem with. Everybody complains a lot about whitewashing within the MCU and all this other stuff and like we, we need more diversity. But nobody's talking about this and it's pissing me off. In This has just been announced and confirmed by Marvel that they're going to have a new war machine. And the new war machine is going to be Frank Castle. So let's get into this total rant that I'm pissed off about by drawing Rhodey Rhodes. War machine. The only war machine out there. Now, it, it's really weird for me to hear about this because number one, um, Rhodey has always been war machine. He's also been Iron Man. And I can get into details about all this stuff, like get into a huge rant. But for now, let's just... Uh, talk about the two characters. So Rhodey has always been War Machine. He's also been Iron Man and he's good friends with Tony Stark. And yeah, I got into him because of the movies, but the movies made him seem really cool. And I I got really into him for that. And it's like, whoa, he's, he's awesome. And they portray him as a really cool character. Now, and we all know Frank Castle, right? Most people do at least. Um, Frank Castle, for anybody that does not read Marvel Comics, because that's the only people I think would not know who he is. He is known as the Punisher. He debuted as a villain in Spider-Man, but was revealed to really be kind of a hitman. He hit, he kills people who are criminals, especially like he, he has this long, dark history and a dark past where his, his family were killed by criminals. And so in revenge and so forth, he, he goes around and he kills criminals. He is the question of, like, um, he's a morality question sort of thing. Like, like, do we really spare everybody? Do we really uh, keep keep a lot of terrible people alive and why? And it's, it's really cool. And that's his kind of gimmick. His gimmick is to punish villains and so forth and, like, murderers and serial killers and they've just announced he's going to be the new war machine. Now, I get it. Rhodey is dead. But what I don't get is why he had to die. He had no reason to, aside from Bendis needing Riri to take the Iron Man position. And here's the thing. If Rhodey was to stay alive, they would have never given it to Riri Williams, obviously, because people would be questioning why isn't it going to a guy that used to be Iron Man, who Tony trusted as Iron Man, who told him be Iron Man at points. So they had to kill him. And of course, ironically, he is the only character to pretty much be permadead in that story, in the Civil War too, which is even funnier because even though they preach a lot of diversity and stuff in this, in Marvel, do you notice that only a black guy perma dies in the Civil War events? Only a black guy. I'm, I'm just going to pull that out there. You have a good day. But yeah, it pisses me off. Rhodey had a lot of character and interesting stories and stuff, and they, they murder him. And it's obviously because she, it, they, they needed... Riri to be accepted more and it pisses me off because of that and it just goes on and on about how stupid this is so immediately they're not going to bring back Rhodey for some dumb reason and so they're going to get they're going to bring back War Machine though they're going to bring it back and give it to a white guy <laughs> and I and that that reminds me of all the issues with the Sorcerer Supreme in, in the Doctor Strange movies, people were pissed off that it wasn't an Asian guy. And that, yeah, it's a little, it's, it is very stereotypical to put an, a, it's a, the mystical whatever to be a, an Asian guy. But still, if you want to follow it to a T, you have to put it as an Asian guy. And they could, and I, we get it, China has an issue with Tibet, but you could also do it with all these other countries. So, why is there no backlash for the Punisher becoming Rhodey Rhodes' iconic hero character name thing? Sorry, I can't. Why? 
why is nobody yelling about it? Is it because you guys don't like comics? Is it because you just like screaming and you just ignore everything? It, I'm sorry, it just ticks me off that nobody is talking about this. And this does piss me off incredibly. Like, where are you guys? Where is are the people getting mad? You were there for Hydra Cap. You were there for the, St for the Stephen Strange thing. You were there for everything else. You were there to parade Riri Williams who is not very well written and you parade about everything else but you don't come to save this you don't ever show up and i'm sorry that's a that's awful because to me really to me um frank castle will always be the punisher that's his story that's his legacy and stuff and war machine is roadie Rhodes, and only roadie Rhodes. <laughs> Nobody else can take that position. And yet here we are, where the Punisher is now going to take that mo that piece of Rhodey's legacy and just make it his. Even though as well, he's, he's a pretty good independent character on his own. Like, they're making a Netflix TV show. There's been several movie versions of the Punisher. And though some people don't like them, they... I mean, it, they still were made. They're, he's iconic. People own, like, tons of bumper stickers based on him. There are, like, there's bumper stickers. There's toy, There's actually a toy line. I think he was in one of the Marvel vs. Capcoms. He's pretty darn iconic. And you, and you decide he's got to get a new character design. He's got to take somebody else's position. What the heck is wrong with you? What the heck is going on at Marvel? Like, I'm not very happy with them currently. Of course, that's that's no surprise there. Most most nerds are not, but you seriously go that low? You seriously have to do this? I, I just I just don't get it. Why would you do this? And I, I it's baffling and nobody's talking about this. I go everywhere like it was only blipped about. It was only blipped about and immediately it was brushed aside to get ready for this like what this um this new uh, Flintstones versions of the Avengers. <laughs> oh yes because that's totally what we need. Fred Flintstone Captain America or whatever before America's made. I, I, I know there's probably not one of those in there but but still, like, I, I don't even get that. Like, there's a there's a phoenix that long ago. There's there's this character that long ago. Like, weren't they kind of original and during the times that they took on a mantle, yet you're saying, like, oh no, there's been like a bajillion of them. Wow, that just that just kind of ruins their originality now, doesn't it? I'm sorry, I am I am pissed. I am ticked off. This is stupid and well okay, Marvel has been doing terribly lately anyway. Um, here's another issue with the Punisher currently. They have kind of made him into a Hydra agent. They've, they've made him side with Hydra Cap, which just pisses us all off even more, because what the F is all this nightmare? And we just have to sit there and take it. It's, it's awful. It's nothing we want to see. And, and who, who was really asking? Who was literally asking? To make Frank Castle the new war machine. And who's going to be the Punisher? Are you saying the Punisher's gone? Or, or is it going to be replaced by some brand new made character that you guys made up? Is it going to be a small child that can do anything? Oh, that's not totally what we need. Also, why the heck are we giving the Punisher a giant war machine suit? This man murders people. This man will cause thousands to die. What, you, you think you're going to ask him nicely not to go kill bad guys and he's just going to comply? He's Frank Castle, the darn Punisher. That's who he is. He is not the war machine who is... Who is... <laughs> he's not... He's not Rhodey. He's not Rhodey. Don't, don't give him his suit. He's also... He's also his own person. And we know that person as the Punisher. Don't give him another persona. Why does he need it? He doesn't need it. None of them need this. Definitely, Rhodey didn't need to die. 
And yeah, I do think, I do think he was only killed off because everybody would have said he should be the new Iron Man. And of course, when Ben is presented Riri, it, people would have complained. People will yell about that. So he killed him off and nobody was the wiser, except for me. And I am pissed off and I will never shut up about it. Okay? And so nobody is literally talking about this. Nobody is really up in arms, even though you guys, like, I don't, I mean, you guys may not, but so many people out there are begging for diversity, begging for a difference in their writing and begging for a change. And yet this happens and they don't even care. They don't even mind that a character, a hero who was diverse, just suddenly died for stupid reasons and then is replaced by a white guy. If that's not whitewashing, I don't know what it is. So you guys have a good day. I am pissed off. Good night.